हज में 2023 has begun with a bang. Most major Android manufacturers have launched their top tier flagships at the start of the year. Let's look at three quintessential brands popular among Android phone users. Starting off with the newest handheld machines on the block, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, a refined iteration of the beloved Galaxy S22 Ultra with a similar camera design for the entire S23 lineup. OnePlus 11, the latest and greatest from OnePlus, adheres to all the last year's issues and updates, hardware and software to match their potential buyers outside China. The Google Pixel 7 Pro is also known as the smartest Android phone money can buy, making its software reign over the hardware. Design and specifications. The Ultra now also gets a redesigned chassis with a more rounded rectangular design that fits the hands confidently and brings significant camera improvements. The design is clean overall and the display is curved up front while looking symmetrically beautiful at the rear. The camera housing for individual sensors is carried on with the entire lineup this year. The outer glass is now industry leading Gorilla Glass Victus 2 on both ends with armored grade aluminum for the chassis for better fall protection. Overall the changes on the outside are minor but there are better hardware this time around. Newer to the device is a new Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, slightly overclocked for Samsung devices with a brighter 6.8 inch dynamic S AMOLED 2K 120 Hz panel with HDR10 Plus supporting 1750 nits of brightness in scenarios necessary. It still retains all the good parts like the IP68 rating, 45 watt charging with a 5000 mAh battery, standard and reverse wireless charging, Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3 and one of the fastest in display fingerprint sensors. This is an app designed for someone who wants a sophisticated premium and functional flagship phone. The S Pen is retained with all the necessary sensors. Pen hardware and software are still crisp and work as well as the earlier editions. Samsung One UI 5.1 brings goodies of Android 13, S Pen features and updated apps like Samsung Pay with a multitude of features. Improved 200 megapixel OIS primary wide with 10 megapixel OIS 10x periscopic zoom, 10 megapixel OIS 3x optical zoom, and 12 megapixel EIS ultra wide camera complete the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra camera setup. that may take some OTA updates to get better for better color tones and 4K capabilities at the same time the rear can shoot 8K 30 fps but the file size would require galaxy level storage OnePlus 11 The OnePlus 11 was launched in China many months ago and has finally landed in India with Oxygen OS 13 based on Android 13. The most considerable improvements include a newer Hasselblad camera design with improved AI and hardware. Exterior design improvements bring back the alert slider and retain the matte finish sandstone rear glass. Like most phones on the market, this is a large phone with a nice balance, but it feels dense despite its slim circumference. Hasselblad computation has improved on the 50 megapixel OIS primary camera sensor with 32 megapixel 2x telephoto lens, 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor and an improved 16 megapixel autofocus front camera. A new LTPO 3 E4 2K AMOLED panel with 120 Hz refresh rate and 1300 nits max HDR10 plus capabilities brings software support for Dolby Vision, 8K 24 FPS capabilities limiting full HD on the front camera. OnePlus 11 features Gen 1 Gorilla Glass Victus up front and Gorilla Glass 5 at its rear. Bluetooth 5.3, Wi-Fi 6. It still misses out on IP ratings and wireless charging but the wired 100 watt charging with included charge brick keeps usage fast and simple. Google Pixel 7 Pro. This new pixel design by Google is exciting and flagship grade to say the least. It includes similar glass setup as of the OnePlus 11 and was launched last year but is safely the most intuitive Android phone to use. This is authentic vanilla Android as cooked by Google. The software is the main king compared to the hardware. The hardware is no slouch at 6.7 inch LTPO 2K AMOLED, 1500 nits of max brightness with panel that has excellent touch response. The Tensor SoC is no match to Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 of the others, but this time around it is much more balanced for all the multitasking expected out of a flagship device. It gets IP68 rating for water and dust protection like Samsung and Apple devices with similar wireless and reverse wireless charging despite no charger in the retail box. This is the only phone among the lot with low UFS 3.1 storage compared to UFS 4.0 despite LDDR5 RAM on all the contenders. 
The most impressive feature on Pixel devices, apart from the fantastic machine learning and AI algorithms throughout the UI, must be the 50 megapixel OIS primary camera, 48 megapixel OIS 5x telephoto, and 12 megapixel ultra wide camera with an autofocusing 4K recording 10.8 megapixel front camera. The battery on the Pixel 7 Pro is 5000 mAh, holding its own with Wi Fi 6C. I'll let you be the judge on this one. We consumed some media and honestly, there is nothing as impressive as a Samsung display. No wonder the iPhones get their displays from Samsung and LG. Isolated, the OnePlus and Pixel 7 Pro bring a large, crisp, color-rich display viewing experience. Outdoor viewing was never an issue on any phone. The color balance in dim conditions showed some flaws on the OnePlus 11 and the Pixel 7 Pro. No such issues with the Samsung Galaxy S20. 10x samples, ultra-wide, front camera samples and more for your perusal. This is a camera sample from the Google Pixel 7 Pro. How does it look and how does it sound from the phone? Let me know in the comment section below. A noisy environment and this is how the Galaxy S23 Ultra front footage looks and sounds like. This is the front footage from the OnePlus 11. How exactly does it look and sound? Let us know in the comments down below. The Ultra wins hands down in the portrait department with a clean cut on my head. The Pixel algorithms has a mind of its own at times and selects colors it likes that is far from reality. Samsung and Pixel perform great at video stabilization while the OnePlus 11 struggles to maintain stability at times. Night photography is more than satisfactory on all the phones with the S23 Ultra and the OnePlus 11 being marginally better than the Pixel 7 Pro. In night photography, the OnePlus Hasselblad setup works wonders, followed by the S23 Ultra and then the Pixel makes things appear as it wants. Pixel photos look great outdoors, but OnePlus and Samsung somehow manage better details in photos and videos overall. Let us know in the comments section below which would be your phone of choice for capturing memorable moments. Performance and Processors the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is finally catching up with Apple's processing power. Both the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and the OnePlus 11 eat up any task thrown at them. Gaming at the highest fidelity is no problem for both phones, but the Pixel 7 Pro struggles on max graphics settings. We notice considerable frame drops on the Pixel and while most games play flawlessly on all the three devices, demanding titles will struggle on the Pixel 7 Pro. We set a tie for the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and the OnePlus 11 regarding sheer flagship performance. Regular tasks and straining downloads were not an issue on either devices. Speaking of performance, the software cannot be ignored. While the Samsung and OnePlus devices make a strong case on paper, the Pixel 7 Pro is a software king amongst the lot. The purest form of Android with all permissions running flawlessly and machine learning and AI algorithms built inside like most iPhones, the Pixel 7 Pro flies miles above any Android device when it comes to phone UI and app usage. This year, Samsung has a trick up its sleeve with social media platforms, especially Instagram, Snapchat and TikTok where it's not still banned. The collaboration allows these apps to use the Samsung camera algorithms inside their apps, allowing them to shoot at full fidelity offered by the improved Samsung Galaxy S23 series camera setup. Battery life on all these phones is more than adequate for a typical workday and then some, with all sporting ultra battery saving modes in their own way. Which one should you buy? And which Android flagship is the best flagship that you can get? This is a tricky question, especially with such amazing products from all brands. All the phones are amazing packages. The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra brings unique functionality to people who want the S Pen along with hardware and software that surpasses most spec sheets on any smartphone. The OnePlus 11 is a tough competitor, but the hardware and software package cuts corners acceptable for the price. Speaking of which, the Google flagship Pixel 7 Pro still proves to be the best software package with amazing AI and machine learning capabilities on the hardware and HDR rich images. One cannot go wrong with either phone, and all the phone manufacturers make Android phone market better than ever before. If price was not a bar, there is nothing in a clamshell design that matches the sheer functionality, premium experience and well-rounded flagship opulence like the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. If you're not willing to shell over a lakh for this particular phone, then the S23 series, OnePlus 11 and to some extent even the Pixel 7 Pro are great options. 
Let us know in the comment section below which amongst these three flagships is one that you desire the most and share it with everyone who's looking to buy a flagship Android device in the year 2023.